everyone welcome guys welcome hey gary welcome welcome gary hey solomon welcome uh hey guys uh let's go over the markets uh we did have uh good news today so uh all of the um indexes are up so the dow right here uh nasdaq s p and russell were all up today uh so that's good news um uh, let's take a look at um the dow here so here is the dow all right so breaking resistance right here we do need the dow to break through guys so uh it is breaking but we need a big break from the dow uh the s p s p right here definitely look at this really good price action on the daily time frame buy signal is here all green candles all right s p is doing well uh nasdaq is also doing great all right so uh, here's the nasdaq uh, good price action here here's the nasdaq right here all right doing well broke resistance right here uh doing well russell is doing well and the vix vix right now guys is at 13 uh, 48 okay so uh looks like we might get a break down lower uh to uh 12 possibly 11 uh, but right now we will shoot for in uh anything under 13 so 12 and change uh would be good uh all the sectors are, are, are holding we only have three sectors that are down all right biotech utilities and healthcare all of the other sectors uh are up all right that's good uh let's take a look at uh some of the uh uh the e-minis all right so uh, the uh, monster monster us 30 we got a buy signal here guys on monster us 30 it's holding right here so a monster us 30 traders uh just continue to hold uh that buy signal that came in today All right good markup phase and if you guys look here we are slowly breaking through resistance on the daily time frame right here all right so good price action uh, we also have a buy signal on the nas 100 all right so the nas 100 here hey joe welcome joe welcome all right so the nas 100 here buy signal very similar all right to uh the us 30 all right so here's the nas 100 right here all right nice upward trend line look at the daily time frame guys all right buy signal here price action moving nicely breaking resistance here so uh we'll anticipate or expect um the nas 100 to move higher hey betty welcome betty welcome all right so um also uh the s p right so uh this is the new system we're adding s p right here similar to the nas buy signal right here great um daily uh time frame there all right uh let's take a look at uh the current positions in monster scalper right in monster scalper a uh, long positions monster scalper long positions all right let's take a look at those all right so a uh, pound we've been talking about the pound and finally they broke out right so uh pound hkd uh, that's holding well buy signal is here all right a bit of a pullback from the high but still holding all green candles nothing to do uh pound hkd same thing buy signal is here right again a bit of a retracement uh but holding um pound uh pound dollar right same thing here almost identical right so pound hkd right pound dollar uh pound sgd all right white candles there hey dean welcome dean all right so white candles pay attention to this one guys all right um it is holding the pound pairs are moving but keep an eye on this one here uh pound cad pound cad buy signal is here holding nicely so hopefully you guys are in some of these pound trades all right uh euro eurty holding nicely all right eurhkd buy signal is here 
this one here is looking to break resistance here if you guys are in this one this is an, an, an opportunity to add on a break of this resistance uh euro dollar buy signal is here that's holding so it's good to see these pairs holding guys uh euro sgd buy signal is here that's holding uh aussie dollar buy signal is here a bit of a pullback and holding here uh new zealand cad buy signal is here that's holding so no changes in monster scalper long all right no changes in monster scalper long let's take a look at monster scalper short uh trades all right so uh we've been doing well with monster scalper catching most of these rotations all right which is what we want all right uh short positions uh cad yen sell short signal is here holding nicely looking to break through support here all right so nice trade going here clearly in the markdown phase try jpy sell short signal is here all the way down here moving nicely uh the dollar pairs good shots going in some of the dollar pairs uh dollar usd huf sell short signal is here trading nicely uh dollar czar dollar czar a big mover dollar czar will move uh sell short signal is here trading nicely need to break through support down here uh usd cnh right sell short signal is here uh, we need red candles to come back in we have white candles pay attention to that please uh usd czk sell short signal is here nicely trading uh we need to break through to continue to move in the markdown phase we need to break through support purple purple line there and uh look at usd pln guys sell short signal is here nice price action moving lower so good shorts good good shorts uh great shorts uh, as a matter of fact uh with the dollar pairs uh eur czar euro czar sell short signal is here we need sellers to continue red candles push the price down right like this uh pound czar right sell short signal is here still holding need that to break break down all right so no changes in monster scalper long or short uh we will look for new opportunities uh this evening in monster scalper all right uh forex uh dominator forex dominator uh long positions all right so let's take a look at the current long positions in monster scalper remember we trend on the daily time frame usd cnh buy signal is here um this was a concern if you guys you know if you close this um that's that's fine all right that's fine um but it's holding uh you know so but if you want to close it that's fine because the dollar pairs hey mary welcome mary the dollar pairs are going short so um it's up to you guys if you're in it but definitely um i would close it we'll leave it here for now um swiss yen swiss yen uh buy signal is here nice moves going higher all right that for uh about almost 400 pips there uh euro yen all right buy signal is here that's trading nicely there pound yen all right buy signal is here trading nicely czar yen right buy signal is here uh keep an eye on this one all right uh guys help me with the background noise please um czar yen holding here keep an eye on it purpose support and resistance there uh pound aussie pound aussie that's holding pound cad right remember pound pairs are trying to break out guys all right buy signal is here that's moving up nicely all right uh pound new zealand all right pound new zealand buy signal is here that's holding nicely all right all right guys help me mute it on your end uh all right all right thanks guys all right our pound sgd really good trade going here buy signal is here right slowly moving higher but it's moving higher guys best trade right now pound sgd for the pound pairs 
pound dollar looks good euro cad right euro cad also pay attention to the euro right so the pound pound pairs and the euro pairs are making a move long all right both in monster scalper here and in forex dominator here so pound pairs pound pairs euro pairs euro pairs that's that's good when they're both trending in the same direction in both systems that's really really good good confirmation eur hkd right that's breaking out euro sgd same thing here that's breaking out and euro dollar breaking out here all right those are new moves right new moves early moves but guess what you hold on to those um they, they could really do well for you guys all right i know some of you are already in especially in these euro pairs all right so, so just continue to hold new zealand dollar right that's um uh not crazy about this trade all right it's kind of doing its own thing by itself it's not part of that group there all right so um we'll see how it does we might have to close this all right we might have to close it all right but we'll keep it in there for now new uh new zealand dollar all right perfect let's take a look at the short positions short positions short positions in forex uh, dominator all right not a lot of changes so things are holding well nice update in the market today so things are holding well all right good and good trading environment right now uh short so the dollar shorts remember we shorting the dollar um in monster scalper also shorting a lot of the pairs all right in forex dominator usdhuf that's a new short signal here hopefully we get another move like this uh usd mxn a good short here going all right uh usdn okay all right sell short signal is a great short no support and resistance line so let it continue to move hopefully lower all right uh usd chf sell short signal is here good shot going here all right so these are great shots guys uh usd cad dollar cad still be patient with it hopefully hopefully we talked about this last night right if you get a white candle uh, you might want to get out you got pretty good support here this is where these shorts failed before okay so we need sellers to come back down right move that price lower not a very good trade here so keep an eye on it usd sgd right that's breaking down nicely sell short signal is here right candles are moving down nicely kind of like this that's what we want a uh, usd dkk sell short signal is here that's holding we want these shorts to hold, right? Um, USD CZK, sell short signal is there and that's holding. Uh, dollar Zar, sell short signal here, broke support, still early in the trade. Uh, USD SEK, sell short signal is here and that's holding. Big candles here, big sellers uh, came in here. So uh, good shorts are going on in the dollar pair, so nothing to change. All right, but we like I said, we will look for opportunities um, to trade um, new opportunities in uh, the dollar pairs. All right, um, we don't have any major changes uh, in the futures market. We went over futures this uh, last night. Uh, let's take a look at. Uh, let's see here. All right, so that's that's the same. No changes there. All right, no changes there. Hold on. All right, live cattle. All right, live cattle. Buy signal is here. Look at this. Trading up, moving up nicely there. Okay, uh, that's the best futures trade right now going. Um, but that trade, been in that trade, watching it for um over two months now all right so but continuing to move up nicely there uh let's take a look at equities if you guys have any symbols let me know all right um we'll start with stock balls
And remember, um, let's do this. Uh, here is the Dow on the weekly time frame. We are breaking out. I know it's hard to see there, but you see that right here, that candle right here, guys. Um, we've, we, we are at the highest point for 2023. So 2023, right, today's close at the highest. So traders will pay attention to that, right? I might get some news out there where, you know, um, uh, the longs, right, the bulls might really start to um, pay attention and jump in. Here is the all-time high here. So we are not that far. I know we, we've been watching this, but uh, today it closed, okay? Highest, the highest amount, right, uh, since uh, uh, for, for 2023, okay, for 2023. So uh, that's, that's good news. Uh, the NASDAQ, look at the NASDAQ, nice price action. Here was the buy signal here. Again, we still don't have a buy signal on the Dow, right? If we... Get a nice big candle, get a buy signal, right? Um, I think we could really move on the Dow, all right? So those of you, our US 30 traders, pay attention, right? Uh, we, do, we did get a buy signal today on the US 30 long, right? And it's holding right here. Just stay with it. Even if this gives a sell signal, like, like it did here, right? Um, just wait for the next buy signal. Okay, everything is telling us that we can anticipate a, a, um, a, a big move, right? Breaking, getting out of this right area here. And when, when it finally breaks out, you guys have seen this in the past. When it finally breaks through resistance, right, you can get a big push. So be in it prior to the big move. All right, so prior to the big move. Right, be in it. I know Dean got in, Solomon got in. So good, good job, guys, getting in. All right, all right. This is where you make your money, right? Uh, you know, forex is good, right? We'll do well in forex, but when you catch some of these moves here, uh, they can really pay off for you. Okay, so stay with, stay with um, the US thirty. All right, um, and then the S and P. S&P, look at this. Look how far we are. We are not that far, guys, from here to here to the all, from the all-time highs. Now, we'll look to see, right, what happens here if we get to a resistance here. Not really resistance, the high here. We'll see if it gets rejected, right? Sellers come in, all right, or if we can break through. Uh, and then the Russell. Look at the Russell, right? Moving out of out of this triangle right here, good price action. Uh, we could get a buy signal somewhere in this area here. We're a long way from the high though. The highs, all time highs, all the way up here. We're all the way down here. So Russell is lagging um, from the other indexes. Okay. So as we take a look at these um, these indexes, um, uh, you know we can kind of predict, right? what will happen here with stocks okay so uh, let's take a look at stocks in uh, stock boss all right so we know the environment is good for stocks right dow is moving higher s p nasdaq and russell all right so let's take a look at the stocks in stock bosses these are stocks that are as you know ten dollars and lower and all we're looking for are white candles uh, we'll pay attention to those if you're conservative you can and you're trading stock boss uh, or bull master close the trade well if you're conservative yes close the trades on a white candle red candle sell signal close the trade um, on both our uh, red candle and sell signal let's go through these most of these with the market being up, we should be nicely in the markup phase. All right. Uh, we shouldn't have to make a lot of changes. Look at it. It's all green candles, and we've been holding this for a while. So we should be nicely in the markup phase. We'll go through this quickly. Uh, so BIG, white candles here. All right. Pay attention to those. 
to that trade. Uh, BKSY, a white candle right here. Just pay attention to it. All right. Uh, that's good. CIO, CIO, white candle there, pay attention to it. Um, you know what we might do? Um, I can guarantee you guys that the weekly, let's see what the weekly looks like. All right, you see here? That's why we've we've made the change, right? With Monster Scalper, Forex Dominator, Stock Boss, and Bull Master. We will not take trades like this. You see here in the weekly time frame, all red candles clearly in the markdown phase. This is why this daily, right? Daily looks like this. There's a good chance that this right here will fail. All right, just like it did here. All right, we have a lot of selling pressure on that weekly time frame. Okay, so moving forward, right, these will screen out these types of trades, right? So um, our results should be better or, or you know, much improved, right? So um, if anyone is in this CIO, all right, white candle here, you might want to close it. We'll leave it on here, but you might want to close it because guess what? This is what looks like could possibly happen. and I want to show you guys here again. This is the weekly. A lot of selling pressure here, right? No green candles, no buyers, a lot of selling pressure, okay? All right. So those of you who have done your update, right, when you go through Stock Boss, go through Bull Master, go through Monster Scalper, Forex Dominator, pay attention to your foundational um, time frame, okay? Uh, that's a good example there. All right. Uh, C-O-M-M, -M, white candles. Pay attention to those. That trade. Uh, E-O-S-E, -E, white candles there. Pay attention. If you're conservative, you can take profits there. Uh, F-T-C-H, white candles there. White candle. Uh, MCW, white candle. No red candles yet, no sell signals yet. Most of these are holding. We're about halfway there. We want these to be in the markup phase. PMVP, white candles, pay attention to that. Uh, S O U N, white candles, keep an eye on that. Uh, we do have our first sell signal here. All right, so U N G, U N G, buy signal here, broke resistance, broke support, red candle, right? Um, white arrow sell signal to be out. So um, the entry was at 767, exit 667, so one point, all right? And look here, this is where it failed here before, all right? Let's take a quick look at that daily. I want us to start looking, I'm sorry, on that weekly. If you look here on that weekly, guys, all red candles, all right? All red candles, no green candles. So in the future, right, when we look for opportunities, and we'll do that this evening, we're going to pay attention to that foundational time frame, right? In this case, it's the weekly time frame. And uh, moving forward, these types of trades, we will, um, not, not that you can't trade them, right? They're just not as strong, right? So UNG, sell signal, right? We're going to close that, get out of that. All right. Let me know if you guys have any questions on this because this is this is new, um, but is it, it is important. UNIT white candle there, so 
pay attention to that. David, I was going to ask you about that UNIT. Okay, Mary. It seems to have fallen quite a bit today. UNIT. Are you in it? Yes, I am. You in it? Um, and I'm assuming you are the buy signal. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly. All right. So, Mary, um, I would get out of it first thing tomorrow. If you look here, right, a lot of selling in here. And look what happened here on the weekly time frame. Right? Try to recover a bit on that white candle. But um, last week, right, last week, close with a red candle. And then this week, we've got another red candle here. So sellers are definitely in control. All right. So that on your daily time frame, so we know what's going on, on on the weekly. If you got in near the buy signal or on the buy signal, you probably got out here and then got back in on that. So um, are you you still in you should be in profit. You still in profit? Probably not a lot of profit. No, not really. Yeah. Close it. Yeah, close it. All right. Close it. Because if again, if you look at the weekly here, right? Look at that. A lot of selling here. All right. And that's not good when if when the markets uh, you know the market's been doing well. Right? It's been doing well. So when you have your the stocks struggling and I know this is just one day here. Right? One day other, other, otherwise um it's been trading up I would say nicely but that weekly time frame now when we take a look at that weekly time frame it's a different really a different picture there. Um, you know, you might get lucky and get a bounce tomorrow, depending on, you know, whether the market opens up high. All right. Um, but you might just want to close it. Okay. Uh, that weekly doesn't look good at all, Mary. Okay. All right. That makes sense? Yes, it does. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Thanks, Mary. All right, let's keep going here. All right, so the majority of these, I think we had, what, one that we had to close. So the rest of these are, are, are fine. Uh, that's not bad, right? That's not bad. Um, so that's Stock Boss. And now let's take a look at Bull Master here. Uh, so remember, Bull Master stocks that are over uh, $10 more large cap opportunities there. All right. And we'll go through the same thing. We're looking for the same thing right here. All right, good gap up here. We need this to be in the clearly in the markup phase, right? Uh, ADTU. ADTN, I'm sorry, ADTN, white candle there. All right, keep an eye on that. All right, anything you've got with a white candle, look at the weekly time frame. Let's do that. We'll, we'll do that. All right, ADTN, let's take a look at that weekly. I want, to, I want you guys to start looking at that. Look at that. The sellers are definitely in control. Right, we don't have any buyers coming in. All right, if it retests its support down here, we'll see that daily time frame turn. Right, this could really, really turn. Okay, so um, we'll keep it, but if you're in it, uh, close the trade, get out. Remember, we want to keep our losses small, let our winning trades run, all right? Right through that markup phase. Small losses, big wins. So these are nicely in the markup phase. Let them run. Look at, uh, look at Kavana. Look at that. Look at that. Nice trade going here. All right. 
A lot of these are nice slowly in the marketplace. Stocks takes a, a bit of time, you know, so we have to let them run. Uh, what's that? Um, was that Ford? Yeah, Ford gap down with a white, white candle here. Let's take a quick look at the weekly. All right, weekly we have a buy signal. So you got, you know, if you're in this one, you might want to hold it, right? draw a trend line um but keep an eye on it though that's a big white candle there keep an eye on it nicely in the markup phase that's what we want to see let those run let those winning trades run Cut the, cut the losing trades. Uh, LEGN, white candle. Keep an eye on it there. Let's go back. We said we would take a look at the weekly. Uh, LEGN, white candle. Let's take a look at the weekly. All right. Uh, weekly is holding. So, all right. So, you might, you know. It's holding support there. You might get buyers to come in. They're not selling it on the weekly. All right, clearly in the markup phase. Look at these guys. Really good, strong moves. Look at this one here. Another one here. Right. Another one here. That's what we want to see. Early in the markup. Early. Nicely in the markup phase, nicely in the markup phase, early, nicely in the markup phase there. Look at this one, nicely in the markup phase, All right? Early, nicely in the markup phase, good. So the majority of these stocks in Bullmaster, nicely in the markup phase, look at that. And we have a lot of help with the, with the indexes. Indexes are moving higher, look at that. So we go in with the trend. Look at this. All right. Upstart. All right. Nice trade here going. Uh, the buy signal on this one was at uh, $19. It's at 52. That's a good trade there. All right. So majority of these are in the markup phase. So you guys are in them. Unless we call the white candle, just hold on. Stay with them. Let them run. Okay. Stocks, you need time, right? If you're trading the calls, if you're trading call options, then you know those will expire. So be careful with those. All right. All right. Um, so those are the stocks in Stock Boss and Bull Master. Uh, okay. Let's go through. We're going to look for opportunities. And I haven't looked at these today, but we're looking for new opportunities in. Um, monster scalper and we again we'll use the new system all right new system all right over over 240 up here looking for longs and the daily as our confirmation uh, at a minimum we can have a white candle a white candle right we can have but preferably green candle on the on the daily and then entry on um, your, your 240 up here, okay? So we're looking for long positions, long positions, new positions, new buy signals, okay? New buy signals to go long. If it's red, you don't even have to pay attention to that, right? We know that, right? And we want to catch these rotations. Currently, it's mixed. You guys see here, right? Up, down, right? Up, down, up, down. Same thing here. So, right there, doing their own thing. But that doesn't mean we can't get um, some opportunities here. All right, Swiss yen, we'll add Swiss yen, all right? Um, Swiss yen uh, long, 
All right, Swiss Yen Long. Uh, we know the weekly looks good. Here's the weekly right here. Look at the weekly, looking to test resistance here. Buy signal all the way here. And now look at your daily, right? You guys will like this new process, all right? Here is your daily right here, looking to break through that resistance. All right, so low risk trade. I know it's not in the markdown phase, but that doesn't mean it can't break through, make new, make new, um, make new highs. Okay, so Swiss yen, C H F, J P Y. All right, um, if it doesn't work out, it will get you out quickly, and just take the loss. Otherwise, stay in. So Swiss yen long in monster scalper. Uh, let's see Aussie yen. Nothing there. All right, all right. Let's keep going. Uh, nothing in the dollar pairs. Dollar pairs are all down. So when you go through your new system, all right, and you see this like this, you notice they're separated. All right, so this is your Asian market, right? Aussie, Kiwi, New, New Zealand, and Yen. All right, these should go together. These should go together, dollar, euro, and pound down here. So nothing here to go long. Let's take a look at the euro. And we can go through this quickly, right? We're already in these. We're looking for new, new buy signals. If you don't have a new buy signal, just skip it. Okay. All right. E U R Euro Euro Pound Euro Pound. We know the Euro pairs are moving. All right. So Euro Pound. All right. So we'll add in Monster Scalper. Uh, we have four euro pairs. We don't have euro pound. Okay. Now, if you guys look here on the week, on the daily time frame. All right. If you look here, uh, you can do a, a, just a little analysis, not a lot. Right. You can just draw a trend line. You don't have to. All right. If you do this here, you just see here. If you look, if you look here, sellers could come back in here. Right. However, we could get this candle, this current candle could break through here. All right. Get a green candle. All of a sudden we're moving higher. OK, so that's on the daily. All right. So you see what that looks like on the daily. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on on the trading window on the 240. OK, don't do a lot of analysis, just simple analysis here. All right, so if you look at the 240, all right, look at it. It's breaking out. Not a, not a bad trade. Good markdown phase. That's decent for 4X. And we have a buy signal right here. Just know, you, you know, you don't have, you, you're trading right along that trend line on the daily. All right, but certainly not a bad trade here. All right, so we'll add it. EUR, GBP. Uh, long, uh, that's in Monster Scalper. All right. All right. Hope that makes sense. Uh, this is new, so if you guys have any questions on this, let me know. All right. This is how you guys should start looking for your opportunities, okay? All right. Um, so Euro Pound, Euro Swiss, nothing there. Uh, Euro CAD, that's already moving. We're in that already. Uh, nothing here. Pound Dollar, we're already in that. Pound HKD, we're in that. Pound CAD, we're in those. So no new. So those are the two. Swiss yen and euro pound uh, long. Let's take a look at the shorts. All right, shorts. 
So the best short we've got going right now, just remember, are the dollar pairs. All right, the dollar pairs. All right, so we'll still look to see if we've got anything. Aussie Swiss has a sell short signal here, all right, on the 240. And look at the uh, look at the daily, guys. Look at that. Look at the daily. Sell short signal here on the daily. All right, red candles here, breaking support. All right, breaking support. And look at look at the trend clearly. Right, moving lower. All right. So and look at the daily here. I mean, look at the 240, right? 240 here. It takes just an extra minute or two, but this will help, right? So Aussie Swiss, right? Clearly in the markdown phase, right at support also. All right, so we'll add this. Aussie Swiss, uh, short. In Monster Scalper. All right. Oh, we're looking for new new signals, guys. New signals. Only new signals. Most of the dollar pairs uh, have been running for a while now. Yeah. All right. Um, we didn't. I didn't see anything come over for Forex Dominator, so we'll skip um, Forex Dominator this evening and go right into equities. All right. Uh, pound uh, PLN. Let's take a look at it. You know, the pound pairs are going long, so that's the best trade. Very choppy there, All right? On the daily, very choppy. I mean, this could be a, a small trade here, but we'll focus on long, long the pound. Okay. All right. Uh, so three trades, Swiss, yen, long, euro, pound, long, and Aussie Swiss short in Monster Scalper. Okay, uh, let's go to Stock Boss. And let's run it. So we have 79 stocks in Stock Boss. All right, all right. So we're looking for new buy signals, guys. New buy signals that came in today. We need a buy signal on the daily, and we need um, on the weekly, we need confirmation on the weekly that the trend is either reversing or we are in the trend nicely. Uh, very choppy, very choppy in here, right?
on Chesum. All right, here is a buy signal that came in today. Let's take a look at that weekly time frame first. Not a bad trade. The only concern, now we could take this trade because its price is flattening and we got good support. You guys see here, we got good support, but red candles, right? If we get tomorrow, we take a look at it. We've got a, a, a white candle here, or hopefully a green candle. We can take it. Um, red candles, we'll wait. All right, we'll wait. So that's the process you, we want to go through, okay? Uh, and that's LEV, LEV, you want to put it on your radar, still early, still here, right? Plenty of time to get in, okay? Plenty of time to get in, right? If that weekly can get some buyers to come in. Those of you who haven't done the update, get with me so we can get that set up for you guys. The updates are on um, Bullmaster, um, Stock Boss, Monster Scalper, OX Dominator, Monster Short, and Monster ETF. You are, you have any of those systems? Get with me, please. Uh, UIS. Let's see if we're in this one. Uh, UIS. All right. So this could be good. Let's take a look here. All right, a good markdown phase, good risk reward. All right, so this one fell from 26, trading at $5. All right, um, a good buy signal here. Look at this. Good buy signal, good protection here, good support right about here. All right, big candles came in. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly. So we know the daily is good, right? Look, the daily is good here. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly. When you do this, uh, you know it's no guarantee we're trading, but all we're doing, we're always finding ways, trying to figure ways to minimize risk, maximize our profits, okay? So if you guys look here, right? Yeah, these are sellers, 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 right? Good support here, but look here. You got big white candle, not a white candle here, right? So we break through here. We can get, you know, either another white candle or a green candle, but that's good, right? That's that, that that selling is almost done. All right. So that's early in that accumulation phase, right? Right here, right? Um, on the weekly time frame, but the daily is set up perfect. Okay, so um all right the sellers just remember we are not in that markdown phase anymore right we're not in that mark this is the markdown phase selling 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 accumulation buy signal by the time we get a buy signal here right that daily should be moving up nicely okay all right so we'll add this one here uh, in stock boss UIS in a uh, stock boss. And we'll send these out to our stock boss traders this evening after the class. Let's keep going. We're almost done with stock boss. Um, here is another one here with the buy signal that came in today. Um, but look at the weekly, guys. Let's see here. All right. All right. Not as not ready. Right, see here, right, right. We don't have any white candles, no green candles, right? Price isn't flattening out, right? Not hitting really good support. But the bottom line is sellers are definitely still in control. There's a good chance that, guess what, right? One big 
one big candle like this here, right, could push that much lower in the markdown phase. Okay, so uh, wait, wait on that one. Okay, that buy signal could fail there. Okay, all right, so when you're looking for opportunities, just remember that. All right, and if you if we look through these here, you'll notice that some of these buy signals are failing, right? Failed here, failed here, failed here. This one here could possibly fail also. So, all right, that's why we are doing this. All right, that's VCSA. All right, so we have V, uh, what was that? U -I UIS in stock boss. So that's not, we've got one here. And 79, I, you know, 79, what was that? Yes, yeah, 79 in stock boss. Let's see how many in Bull Master. Uh, 124 in Bull Master, guys. So let's go through these. We're looking for new buy signals that came in today. Same process, and then we'll be done. When you go through these, just make sure that if it's if that buy signal is late, don't, don't chase it. And if you've got green candles coming in on that weekly, right, by, by, by the time it comes in on the weekly, buy signal on the weekly, your daily should be nicely in the markup phase. Your time, it's just about, you know, it's all about your timing. All right, O O N O N. Let's make sure we're not in it. All right, we might have a decent one here. Let's take a look at uh, the weekly. So the weekly, look at the weekly, guys. Weekly looks good. Buy signal here. Look at this, breaking resistance on the weekly. All right, breaking resistance on the weekly. So buyers are in strong on the weekly. Let's take a look at the daily. That might be a reaccumulation here. All right, hold on. All right, yep, a reaccumulation trade. So we're not getting it down in the markdown phase, guys. All right, but these, when the market is strong like it is now, these will do well. All right, so good one for call options too. So buy signal is here. We'll add this one. O N O N good weekly and um, solid uh, daily. Okay, uh, so O N O N in Bull Master. All right, all right, almost done, almost done, guys. Five more minutes. <clears throat> Stocks are moving for sure.
uh, S P T S uh, P T. All right, we're not in this one. Uh, a descent markdown phase right here, breaking resistance here, buy signal right here. Choppy, very choppy in here though. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, quick look at the weekly. All right, uh, don't like that weekly. All right, so we'll skip on this. If it's choppy on that weekly and not breaking out, it's going to be tough to break out on that um, on the daily. Just an extra step, guys, but it pays off. Uh, buy signal here, but all red candles here. All right, so wait. All right, wait for that week to develop. All right, let's see here. Uh, we're not in this. Um, all right. Good buy signal on the weekly. All right, we have a buy signal, guys. Not only green candles, but a buy signal on the weekly. All right, trading near, right? Near that all-time highs right here, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the daily. So the weekly looks good. All right, and that's a continuation here, guys. Look at this, right? Buy signal is right here. It hasn't moved very far, right? So you can still get in. Ideally, buy signal is right here, but at $40, it's at 45, so five points, not a major deal. You are looking at resistance right here, but that weekly looks really good, all right? So I uh, will add this one. Right, so TPX in uh, Bowmaster. All right, and let's take a look at that weekly again, just to make sure. Yeah, that weekly, nice buy signal. So buy signal on the daily. Look at that big candle here, guys. Big candle here on that weekly, and it trades well. Look at this here. It trades well. Okay, that doesn't mean load up on it. Trade it just like you would right? anything else. <clears throat> UPWK, are we in this one? All right, let's see here. Buy signal came in. Uh, this time we'll take a look at the daily, then the weekly. Upwork buy signal, buy signal right here, guys. Nice green candles. Um, really good markdown phase. Really good risk reward. Fell from what 60 to now it's at ten dollars. All right, so this looks good here. Let's take a look at the weekly and see if we can call this one here. We're almost done, so this would be a if the weekly looks good. All right. I hope you guys get the idea. Look at the weekly. Nice weekly, guys. All right. All right, look at this. All right. Good support down here, right? We know the selling is almost done, all right? We do have a white candle here, right? Um, mm, I would say uh, uh, low here, right? But boy, this is setting up here, right? So if we can, if it can hold, look at this. We're not getting it up here. 
this is a really good one here you know now um we we're not out we're not out of the danger zone yet all right sellers can come in another red candle here all of a sudden we're testing the lows break support we could really go lower ideally though right we can get a green candle here break through here get a green candle and then that daily um will start to move all right so what you can do is take a small position and then as take a small position as it keeps going higher if it works out just keep adding to that position okay that's the way you want to trade those so uh, we'll add it uh what's that uh up wk all right so up wk and that's in bull master okay um right all right uh wrby all right good markdown phase guys we have a buy signal here breaking down breaking up nicely moving up nicely good risk reward fell from uh 58 right trading at 13 okay not a bad price there uh so daily looks good nice buy signal buyers are coming in there strong and uh, let's take a look at the weekly to see all right so this must be a new ipo all right not a lot of history here good support right look here good support good accumulation it's not a falling knife anymore right it's not in that markdown phase it's in that accumulation phase white candle definitely one to to get into all right but again all right don't bet the farm all right so uh getting slowly as getting slowly as this keep an eye on that weekly as that weekly moves higher, get starts getting green candles, right? You might be able to push it a bit more. Okay. All right. So we'll add that W and we'll follow these like we've done with the others. Okay. Um, but I hope you guys get the idea. This is how we want to trade the new upgrade. Okay. All right. So go through that same process. Okay, nothing here. All right, guys. Um, so we've got uh, UIS for Stock Boss, ONON for Bullmaster, TPX for Bullmaster, UPWK Bullmaster, and WRBY. All right, for Bullmaster. Our um, Our monster scalper traders, your your best trade right now are the dollar shorts, right? Shorting the dollar, all right? Shorting the dollar pairs. Um, uh, right here in the futures, right? The dollar, you see here, dollar, right? We have on, you know, dollar index, sell short signal, guys. Broke a big support here, right? It's at 99. Right now, the dollar is down. All right, the dollar's down right now. Uh, so that's the best trade right now. And then the euro and pound long. Always, you always need to know, guys, where these pairs are, the, where the group, where they're trading, whether they're long. You should know at all times whether they're long, what's long, what's short as a group. Okay. Um, uh, US 30, keep an eye on the US 30 overnight, right? We need it to get above resistance right here hold we do have a buy signal just you know it, it, there's nothing to do right now 
even if you get a white candle, I, I wouldn't, you know, I, I would just continue to hold, right? Um, red candle, sell signal, get out, but um, uh, futures are down a, a bit, okay? So you might get a bit of a retracement here, but it's holding, guys. It's holding firm to that resistance right here, okay? So it's testing, testing, testing that resistance, hopefully break higher, all right? Um, and um, the NAS 100, right, same thing, right? NAS 100, right, holding right here. Might get a bit of a pullback here, right? Don't be scared out of the trade. Just continue to hold. White candle, continue to hold. You guys have, you've done this enough, right? So you know not to panic, right? Just, you know. As long as you're trading, you know, tr you're not trading heavy and you're testing, right? Testing that buy. Once it gets into the move, right? You can you can you can scale up, right? You can start pushing things a bit. Okay. But right here, small position. Look at the daily. Good markup phase in the daily. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I will see everyone tomorrow. Uh, good luck. Good job. All right. Let me hear about your success traits. All right. If anyone needs, like I said, up, upgrades, any of your, you know, we've send those messages out. If you just let me know so we can schedule your upgrade coaching, any coaching you guys need anything. Just let me know. You guys know where to find me. All right. All right. Take care. Have a good evening. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.